On June 1st, 2010, my wife Ingrid suffered a heart attack. In the hospital, she was told she needed a cardiac stent. And as she was being prepared for the procedure, she told the surgical team, and I quote, okay, but I want the Boston Scientific Texas drug eluting cardiac stent, unquote. After a moment of stunned silence, the cardiologist said to her that this was the first time a patient had asked for a stent by name. She replied, and I quote, I want this stand because my husband hold the, holds the patent for the polymer coating on it. Indeed, the critical polymer coating on the Texas stand was developed in my laboratories in the University of Akron, the largest and arguably the best polymer research and education unit in the U.S. This unique, meticulously designed rubbery molecule named SIBS, S-I-B-S, was patented and licensed to Boston Scientific and helped reduce open heart bypass surgery by some 85% and almost completely eliminated reclogging arteries that plagued uncoated stainless steel stent. This is the scheme of SIBS. I want to emphasize that it contains rubbery PIB, PIB, short of polyisobutylene, because that will be important later. This SIBS molecule contains hard and soft segment, and the soft segment is the important part, which is the PIB, the polyisobutylene. In 2004, the first year of its sales, SIBS coated stents generated over $3 billion in revenue, which makes it the most successful launch of a medical device ever. Today, there are over 6 million patients with these stents in their cardiac arteries. SIBS is truly an in incredibly important polymer, but it's just the beginning of the story. Today, I want to tell you what's next. How designed tailor-made polymers will come to the rescue for another serious disease. Heart valve diseases are common serious diseases, particularly in the elderly. This is a healthy, beating aortic valve. If these leaflets are not opening or closing properly, heart valve diseases develop. A person with heart valve disease struggles with shortness of breath, chest pain, or palpitation, all of which reduce the quality of life, and in severe cases, it may result in death. A current remedy is valve replacement surgery, and there are 500,000 such surgeries performed every year in the U.S. alone. Replacement heart valves are mostly of processed cow or pig cardiac tissue, but these animal tissue valves degenerate over time, and they're very expensive because they are made by hand. I think the days of heart valve replacements with animal tissue valves are numbered, and the stage is set for polymer science to the rescue. My goal is to replace animal tissue valves with fully synthetic polymer heart valves that last much longer and are much less expensive. For me, the road to the fully synthetic polymer heart valve started by drawing on my experience with SIBS. The aha moment came when I realized that the combination of properties required of both, the stent coating and the heart valve, were very similar. Let me explain. First, just like the stent coating, the heart valve must also be superbly bio and hemocompatible, that is, tissue and blood compatible so that the implant is accepted by the patient without inflammation or immune reaction. Both must also be biostable, meaning that the implant must remain unchanged for a very long time, sometimes for decades, after being exposed to the aggressive oxidative hydrolytic defenses of the host. 
and both the cardiac stent and the heart valve must be calcification resistant. In other words, there should be no solid calcium-containing deposits accumulating on the surface of the implant. Calcification would eventually prevent the valve from functioning properly. And of course, the heart valve must also be rubbery, soft, and durable, just like sibs. You may have noticed that the key biological properties I mentioned are all surface properties, and they may depend only on the nature of the surfaces of the implants. A coating, like sibs, is always on top of something, like the stainless steel stent. But a coating doesn't have the properties required of a device, like a heart valve. I wondered, could we go beyond sibs and create an entire device made of synthetic polymer, a polymer that would be superior to replace heart valve made of animal tissue? The device as visualized were difficult but not impossible to create by modern polymer science. Not only did the device had to exhibit the surface properties of SIBs, but it also had to be strong for structure and dynamic applications of a heart valve, and they had to be relatively inexpensive. After examining many possibilities and experiments, we combined the chemistries of SIBs and polyurethanes, and thus created a new class of polymers that produce strong, bicompatible rubbers suitable for heart valves and other medical devices of relatively low cost. We call these hybrid polymers PIP-POO. PIB, you remember, is the short for polyisobutylene, the main part of SIBs, and PU, P-U, is for polyurethanes. We found that PIP-POO, just like SIBs, is biocompatible, biostable, and calcification resistant. Importantly, PIPPU is stronger than SIBS and has superior physical properties needed for a heart valve. Strength ensures shape retention, durability, and a series of other desirable properties. Also, PIPPU can be crimped and delivered by a catheter like current replacement valves. Furthermore, PIP-POO is highly fatigue resistant, which is critical for a beating heart whose valves are constantly opening and closing. The human heart beats constantly over 30 million times per year. It is difficult to reproduce such a large number in the lab, but we just found out that PIP-POO valves keep beating without failure for weeks. Finally, polymer heart valves will be much less expensive than tissue valves as they can be precision made robotically by injection molding. There is a huge potential for pip poos We studied the properties not only for heart valves, but also for other implantables, like indwelling catheters, pacemaker lead insulators, deep brain stimulators, and so on. I truly believe that polymer science will come to the rescue in many ways. We patented our PIPPU technology, and we are now starting to work with licensing partner to explore this technology. But we are still interested to hear from potential commercial development partners. I am proud of my work, and the way it has helped so many people. And I'm looking forward working with Pippu and with tailor-made polymers in general for the betterment of humanity. Thank you.